Hey, what is going on, Pokemaniacs? I'm Lucario Man, and welcome back to the channel. So, for this week's battle of the uh, Ultra Draft League, I'm facing the uh, Bundle Montreal, and I'm coming back from a win against a Praetor and the uh, Slowpokes, and I, I was actually very afraid because. Um, a Praetor is a very strong trainer. He's actually, in my opinion, one of the uh, top four players in the league. But at the end of the day, I was able to uh, get the win. So hopefully I can uh, get the win in this battle as well. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the current standings on the league. And we're also going to take a look at the uh, MVPs on the uh, on the league so first let's take a look at the uh, current standings so on spot number one and undefeated and not only undefeated but with a differential of 21 we have the uh, Harrisonburg Hexerus coached by tips um, I think he's been like obviously the best on the league you know but not only has he been the best on the league but take a look at that differential like 21 in five matches that's just amazing on number two we have the uh, san jose pancakes coached by the root with a 4-1 uh win loss ratio that's amazing that's pretty good and the ratio also goes for the Detroit Blue Flares coached by Cass. Next we have uh, a Prater, uh, the my opponent for last week's battle. And then we have a uh, Nova X Blader on the fifth position. Then we have the uh, Melbourne Tracers led by Banana. And then we have this week's Opponent, the Bundle Montreal, coached by Mr. TJP. It ha he has a win-loss ratio of 3-2, uh, which is the same as me. Like, me and him, we're basically, like, the same right there. You know, like, uh, we have a win ratio of 3-2, and we have a differential of plus 1. So, my goal is to stay right here where I am right now on the top eight normally on other leagues only top eight make it to the playoffs but on this one it's the top 10 but regardless of that i really want to stay in the uh top eight i think that would be a successful season for me and on spot number eight is myself the cerulean city hurricanes Spot number nine, we have the St. Louis or Chalodons led by uh, Miss 198. And then on the last spot for the playoffs, we have the Portland Palafins led by Paycheck. And yeah, guys, uh, now for the uh, bottom six, let's see. If I have to root for somebody, I want to say it's going to be uh, Jacob. I'm going to root for him because on the uh, the commissioner did a video where he ranked all the teams. And he actually ranked me and, the, uh, and Jacob all the way to the bottom. So, you know, I would really love to see the both of us on the on the playoffs so Jacob I will always root for you buddy next let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, MVPs of the league so far so we have a uh, right period um, whose coach is a Prater. he has 12 kills and uh, let's see and he's only tasted defeat three times that's really really amazing Next, we have the Gojing Fire with nine kills and one defeat. Then on the position number three, we have the Iron Hands with nine kills and uh, two defeats. Number four, we have the Powerful and Annihilate. On spot number four, we have the Annihilate 
with uh, eight kills and three deaths. Number five, we have the uh, Spectrier with eight kills and four deaths. Number six, we have the uh, Snizzler with seven kills and two deaths. Number seven, we have the Goldingo with seven kills and three deaths. Number eight, we have Zapdos with six kills and two deaths. Number nine, we have the Glimora with six kills and three deaths. And last but not least, we have the uh, Kilowattrol with five kills and no deaths. He has never tasted defeat. That is very, very powerful. And well, guys, yeah, those are the MVPs and the uh, current standings for the league. If you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps a lot. And without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump into uh, team predictions. Alrighty then, guys. So here we are. So let's get started. I think the biggest threat to me is the item bundle so i'm gonna say that he's gonna bring the item bundle for sure now i think my opponent really needs he knows that i have two pokemon that learned the mag punch the breloom and the hitman lee so he needs a ghost type pokemon so I have seen him use the uh, Dust Clubs as a support Pokemon, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, predict that he's gonna bring the uh, Dust Clubs. Additionally, I think he's also gonna be bringing the Avalog because that's his only uh, Rapid Spinner, and you know he must be afraid of the uh, Cleaver because of the um, Stone Axe. Now, I think he will also bring, let's see, the Rillaboom for sure, because he knows that I have nothing to get rid of the uh, terrain. Additionally, he's going to bring, let's see, the uh, Hexerus, and he will also bring the, this guy, the Landorus Incarnate. And already then, so I think, let's see, overall my opponent has four Pokemon weak to rock. Now there is one important uh, key point in this battle, and that will be to find out. Okay, so one important point in this battle in order to succeed is finding out what item the item bundle is holding because i have seen my opponent bring the item bundle both choice scarf or uh with uh, i think the other item that i've seen is the uh life orb and so if the item bundle is choice scarfed he outspeeds absolutely everything just completely wrecks my team but if he brings anything else, I can outspeed the item bundle with the uh, Hinman Lee after the normal gem. And another Pokemon that will outspeed the item bundle is the uh, item boulder after the uh, booster energy. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my Terrakion number one. Okay, so my second Pokemon will be my Mandibus. So I think it's going to be very important in this match because the knockoff can get rid of my opponent's items. So getting rid of the Eevee Light on Dust Clubs will be really good for me. Next, I'm going to bring my... This guy right here. So... I think my best bet is to do off uh, ah, yeah no not the focus ash um or yeah I might 
go for the uh, focus sash on the Hitman Lee. I'll decide later on, but um, I think going for the uh, normal gem is better. So I can go for the fake out on the item bundle. And assuming he doesn't have a an item, I can always go for the um, mag punch or the close combat. So with that being said, I'm going to have to remove the uh, sword stance on it and replace it with a close combat. If my opponent's item bundle has the choice scarf, I have to go for the mag punch. But if he does not have the choice scarfed i can just go for the uh, close combat and get the knockout next i'm going to bring the for sure i think my terra captain will be the uh hisuian type lotion because a choice specs type lotion does outspeed the um item bundle assuming he doesn't have the choice scarfed himself and you know an eruption will be very very important with that being said um let's see i think my other pokemon that i will be bringing um let's see i'm debating between the cleaver or the uh, hydragon so i will go for the uh, hydragon because he outspeeds all of my opponent's pokemon with the exception of two the Landorus and the item bundle and last but not least I got to bring my Breloom Yeah, there because so my plan is to give a tailwind to the Mandibus and the uh, Hydreigon so that they can you know uh, set the stage for my for the rest of my Pokemon but if that does not work, I have to rely on my Hitmon Lee and on my Breloom to take advantage of the Mock Punch and just uh, together tag team and take out the item bundle. So yeah guys, uh, I think this is going to be my team and uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the battle. Alrighty then guys, so I think my opponent has a team that's very bulky. Um, with that being said, I feel like it's going to be very critical for me to keep my Breloom because I feel like I can outspeed most of my opponent's team. Um, I want to start with the Mendy Rose and I can always uh, U-turn. Uh, let me see. Yep, I do have the U-turn there, so let's, um, yeah, let's start with the Mandy Rose, and I can go for the knockoff or whatever I feel it's, uh, better. Um, although, um, yeah, I got no choice. I hope he doesn't lead with the, uh, item bundle, because that's going to put me in a really bad place. I, I think that's going to be his lead, so I did jack this up. Item bundle, there you go. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so I think I just made a really bad mistake. Um, Alright, let's go for the Mighty Cleave. I thought I chose the um, uh, Hydro Pump, there it is. Damn. All right, so that is a really bad mistake on my part. Uh, let's go for uh, Austin here. I think he's gonna go for the uh, for the Chandelure, so I'm gonna go for the uh, Bullet Seed right here. Yep, there's the withdrew Chandelure. There it is. All right, so that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four, and 
and that's fine. Okay. Alright, let's go for another uh, bullet seed right here. Alright, there's the flamethrower, but I'm gonna live it thanks to the uh, focus ash. Hopefully I can hit uh, enough to get the knockout here. Alright, there's one. There's two. We need one more. There you go. Alright, so now that means that I can freely go for the... Um, uh, so I think my opponent does have the uh, Focus Sash. No, not the Focus Sash, the Choice Scarf. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go for the Mac Punch. That really boom did not set up the uh, the terrain. That's very strange. Alright, so my opponent does get the knockout right here. Yeah, for sure, for sure, my opponent has the uh, Choice Scarf item bundle. Because I'm supposed to outspeed with the uh, booster energy. Alright, here comes the item bundle. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go for the uh, Hitmon Lee. Oh, he's gonna withdraw the item bundle. Wow, that's crazy. Who is he gonna bring? The Dodonso? Okay. Yeah, that won't do much. Oh, and that's a Rocky Helmet, the Dodonso. Hmm. Alright, let's go for the knockoff right here. I wanna get rid of that um, item. Let's go for a close combat. That didn't do much. Alright, down goes. Um, the hit on Lee. Yeah, I think this is going to be a loss for me. Mm, Alright, let's bring the uh, Armageddon. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this one because, like, I made I made the mistake. I thought I had left with my, um, with my Mandibus. All right, let's do a uh, direct meteor right here. Oh, my opponent's gonna withdraw. Perfect. Ah, oh, he's gonna go for the Bleacy. Wow. So I think my opponent is going to go for the uh, Thunder Wave. So I'm going to go for the Tyrion because it does have the uh, Loom Berry. Oh no, so my opponent does, uh, he does go for the uh, Stealth Rock. Alrighty, let's see. Mm. I'm gonna go for a trailblaze or should I sword stance? Alright, let's go for a trailblaze. Mm. Yeah, let's trailblaze. Here's the the Donso. All right, I get the speed boost. Um, let me see. Um, Let's go for the uh, Stone Axe right here. Hopefully that will get the knockout. 
Oh, it does not get the knockout. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's go for a second troll blaze here. Yeah, but now he's gonna go for the item bundle. For sure. Yeah, because I have nothing for the uh, item bundle at this point. <coughs> oh no, he's gonna bring the epilogue. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go for another stone axe right here. Oh, that's his Terra Captain. Oh, all right. Oh, and it's a ghost type. All right, that's pretty interesting. All right, so there's the rapid spin. Gonna get rid of the uh, stones. Um, let me trailblaze right here. Okay. Perhaps I should have gone for the uh, sword stance. There's another rapid spin. Yeah, no, I think this is a lost cause because um, the item bundle just. He can just come in and basically, you know, go for, a, uh, for an ice beam. Hmm. I'm gonna tailwind. Alright, there's the uh Alright, oh and here comes the Blissey down. Alright, I'm gonna switch into my Mender Rose. Cause that's just about all I can do at this point. Alrighty, so my opponent gets residual damage from the Rocky Helmet. And at this point, I think I'm gonna go for a... Let's go for a... Um... I'm gonna go for a knockoff. Alrighty. That does a good chunk of damage. Alright. Let's go for a roost. Ah, <coughs> oh, he has the soft boil. Alright, well, this is going to be a very long battle, guys. Mm, let's Toxic. Alrighty, here comes the really boom. It's really weird that um, the really boom does not have the um, the hidden ability. But uh, let's go to now U turn here. All right, so hopefully this will get a knockout. 
hide this knot. I think my opponent is going to switch right here, so I'm going to do the same. <laughs> I feel like I'm just wasting time, you know, because like I said, all my opponent needs to do is bring the item bundle. Yep, here comes the item bundle. Yep, guys. Well, um, that's GG, guys. Um, fortunately for me, I made a really bad mistake in the beginning of the uh, battle, which basically put me in the position where, like, I have to fight a uh, five versus six. But it is what it is. Um, let's go for the Drek Meteor. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I made that mistake and I couldn't make this battle uh, more enjoyable. Take care guys. See ya!